Driving around London can be stressful enough as it is without having to worry about whether you're doing the legal speed limit or whether you're breaking the speed limit. So we're going to show you a couple of our favourite apps for alerting you of what the speed limit is on any given road that you might be driving around down. So this is going to be useful to anybody that drives in London or anywhere else in the country come to that. So the two apps we're going to show you are one called Cyclops and the other one's called Radarbot. There are other apps out there, but these are the two that I personally use and our favourite apps. And we're going to be doing other videos on other apps that we find useful whilst driving the cab. But this week, it's going to be Cyclops and Radarbot that's going to alert you of the speed limits on the road that you're driving down. So this one is Cyclops. Now, Cyclops gives you a very good visual deterrent, a very visual indication as to the speed you're doing, and also it will alert you if, you're, if you go over the speed limit on any given road that you're driving down. So it's a very, very good visual de deterrent for you. It does work in the background in some instances, but it's not that reliable, I've found personally, at working in the background. So if you're only using it on your on your main phone, I mean, I use it on an old iPhone I had laying about, just as a visual thing that I can see when I'm driving. But if you're using it on your only phone, if you only have the one phone that you're using in the cab, then it may not be the app for you. A lot of drivers that I've found that are using this are using it on an old phone that they had laying about and they just tether it to their phone and then they have it on a mount where it's clearly visible and it gives you the visual indication as to your speed and the speed limit on the road you're driving down. So they do do updates to it every now and again. I wouldn't say it's updated that regularly because there are roads that have now changed to 20 mile an hour speed limits that are still 30 on there but they do eventually get around to updating the speed limits on it so it's not a hundred percent reliable yeah it also does do speed cameras as well it alerts you of speed cameras red light cameras um speed cameras all sorts of cameras um average average speed zones and average speed limit cameras and things like that so it does do the whole range of, of alerts um it does have a mute button it has sound indications as well so if you're not you know you haven't got to be looking at it all the time it will alert you like with a with a, an audio alert that indicates that you're going over the speed limit so you can reduce your speed down so that you don't get a ticket or you don't break the law also, it will alert you audio and visually, audio and visually, that you are approaching a speed camera, or a safety camera as they call them, um, or a red light camera, or you're going into an average speed limit zone. So it gives you both audio alerts and visual alerts for all the range of things that you could want it to do. As I say, I wouldn't say it's one hundred percent reliable, um, but no at or anything is 100% reliable. So you've got to take it at face value, but it is, a, it is an aid to your driving that could possibly save you from infringing a speed limit somewhere and getting a ticket or getting penalty points on your license, which none of us really want at all. The cost of the app is 2.99 per year. So it's really cheap and I think that reflects in the amount of times it's updated as well because you're only paying 2 99 for the year so you can't expect it to be updated weekly or even some cases monthly I think their updates are more on a quarterly basis as such and that's probably reflected in the price of 2 99 per year if you're interested in the Cyclops app we will leave a link to it in the description below and how you can download it in both the App Store and also in the Android Store, the Google Play Store as well. So this app is called Radarbot. Now Radarbot offer a free version and the free version, when you open the app you have to go through watching a advert before you can actually use the app. So that's the basic free version. Then they offer a monthly subscription of 4 99 a month or a yearly 
of about £30 per year. Um, it's a little bit different to um, Cyclops in that this will work in the background and give you banner notifications of speed limits and when you're approaching a 20 mile an hour zone, when you're approaching a um, average speed limit zone, when you're approaching a red light camera or anything like that. So this will give you banner alerts if you've got another app open and it's running in the background. It also acts as a sat nav as well, but a very basic sat nav, and I think it uses the Copilot mapping software um, to do that. It's really, really good. It's updated regularly. Nearly every single time you open the app, it updates the camera software and, and the, the information, the database of speed limits and things like that. And I found that this is far more up to date with 20 mile an hour speed limits than the Cyclops app is. Um, the only downside to this is um, it's not as much of a, a visual alert that you get with Cyclops. I find Cyclops is a much better visual alert than what um, Radar Bot is. And also, I don't like having it open in the cab uh, in, the, in the foreground because you know what passengers are like. They think you're using the sat nav all the time. So that's why I tend to have it running in the background. And I tend to have Cyclops running in the foreground, so that it's, uh, it's got the visual, I'm getting the both really, I'm getting the benefit, benefits of both. I'm getting the, the visual of Cyclops and I'm getting the banner ads from, from Radar, but as I say, it's really, really good and it is most definitely worth having. Even if you only download the free version, it's literally an advert that stays on your screen for, for a matter of seconds before you can hit the cross in the corner, get rid of it and then use the app. It does have banner ads across the top of it when you're using it if you don't pay for it but then you know that's the price you pay you can you can't there's nothing free in this life you know the developers have got to earn their money somehow so that's why there's adverts on these apps so they can pay for them and if you don't want the adverts then you have to subscribe or pay for the yearly thing i think i paid for the yearly but i don't think it was as much as what it is now i think it's gone up a bit in price but as i say I think if you're driving in London, especially if you're a taxi driver in London, especially with TfL's new driver policy these days, where, you know, if you get six points, then your licence is being brought into question. I think something like this is a must-have, really. Um, no matter what app you use, you need something that's going to help you to, um, to regulate your speed as such. You know, not all taxis have got speed limiters on them. Not all drivers know how to use the speed limiters on a taxi. So having this, which is a visual and an audible deterrent to you breaking the speed limit, is a must in my view. And I think everyone should take a look at, um, at having this on their phone, even if it's only running in the background, especially radar. But, you know, you really need to if you're a professional driver in London. Also, we'll do the same with this with radar bot. If you want to find out more information about it, we'll leave a link in the description below to both the Apple Store and the Google Play Store where you can download the app and, and give it a try for yourself. Both of them, with Cyclops, you've got a seven-day free trial. They used to do that. I'm sure they still do do it. And as I say, RadarBot you can use um, with the adverts. So both of them, you can try them before you actually spend any money. And, there are, you know, just looking through the App Store just now, there are other apps that you can use very similar. I haven't tried them. These are the two that I've tried. These are my two favourites at the moment. That may change in the future. And if it does, then we'll review whatever I'm using then. But these are what I'm using at the moment. And so far, they've saved me from getting a ticket quite a few times uh, when driving around London.